Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are going to be talking about the Tom Ford Pretty Baby Eyeshadow Quad. This is one of his brand new quads. This is the fourth one that I'm going to be covering. So I've talked about Virgin Orchid and Daydream. Those were the first two that came out. And then I just uh, reviewed the African Violet. And I'll add a card up here if you would like to take a look at that video. I'll also try and remember to add a link to it in my description box down below. So we are talking about this pretty baby right here. And if you would like to listen to my review on this, watch me do a demo and take a look at some swatches, then just keep on watching. Well, Tom Ford is just bombarding us with new quads. Uh, there are seven in total. I believe that is the final count. There was some question there as to whether it was gonna be seven or nine. And we are on number four because you know I'm gonna be getting all of them. What do I have left? I have Photosynthesex. Uh, I have Leopard Sun, and then I have Super Nouveau, which is one that I don't even have my hands on yet because I feel like I've seen it online, but it's always been out of stock. So my suspicion is it hasn't even shipped from Tom Ford to retailers yet. So once that hits stores, I'm definitely gonna be getting that. So I'll be reviewing all seven of the new quads for you. But today we are talking about Pretty Baby. This is number 25. This is a beautiful palette. This is a really, really beautiful palette. I think um, everyone was very, very interested in the African Violet quad that I talked about yesterday. That one is a lot of fun. You know, it's bright. You really can't miss it. When you look at all of the new quads, that one I feel like jumps out at you first because of that bright purple, like magenta color and the really bright kind of like orange rust color. Uh, but this one, this one is a sneaky little quad because these three satin shades are kind of like not what you expect. This is a very cool toned palette, but I see in the camera, I think the light is kind of helping it out. But this shade right here, when you look at it in the pan, it looks very taupe. But under lighting, like what you guys probably see, and when you put it onto your lids, it definitely has more of a pink lean to it. But because this has like a gray, dusty, but pink tone to it, it just makes it so interesting and really, really beautiful. This is the shade that I start with in my demo, which you'll see. Um, I just put it all over my lid because I just fell in love with like that pink tone that it kind of like glistens to. And it just looks so, so pretty on the lid. And I think if you wanted to stop right there and add just a liner <clears throat> and some mascara, you could totally do that. It, it just, it has like enough brightness, especially with the satin finish. It really kind of helps the color along. And then this purple in here, I tend to kind of shy away from light kind of like cool toned lilac colors like this one because I feel like they end up looking a little bit gray, they look a little bit ashy on my skin, but this is much more purple than you would think and it really is quite bright and I have that kind of between like the darker brown and this pink shade. I have that down just to kind of bridge the gap between these two colors. Um, it's hard for you to see probably because I have this top coat on as well but I use all four shades on my lid and they just they work really really well together. They are like a wonderful family of cool tones. Now this brown is uh, definitely a cool toned brown. There's a lot more of like a blue base to this brown, so it keeps it really cool. But what's neat is like the satin kind of shift to it is a little bit warm. So again, another color that I feel like could end up looking really kind of gray and cement-like, like if a brown is a little bit too cool, it just looks, again, like it can look ashy. But it's warmed up a little bit by like the satin sheen to it. It has just a little bit of like gold in the satin to kind of keep it just a little bit warm, to kind of keep the brown there. It's so beautiful. And then this top coat, I know a lot of people complain about the Tom Ford top coats, like what's the point? They're so sheer. I find them to be really beautiful. And I think in person, they come across really beautifully. They always look kind of wet. They're always like just a little bit glittery, but it's more of like this foiled wet effect. I really like them. But this one definitely has a bit more pigment in there than most of his others. And I use this in my uh, inner corner here and uh, I just have it kind of tapped onto uh, my lids on top of the other three shadows. And it is 
so much fun. So it goes from a brownish blue, which I think is a very kind of common duochrome shadow shade that we see a lot. We see a lot that has that like brown base and then it kind of goes into that bluish purple. But this one moves into like a bright, I think you can see it there. It's almost like a bright pink. So this is a fun, very interesting shade. So the formula is wonderful. These perform really, really well. If you are in love with Tom Ford shadows, you're not gonna be disappointed by this one. It is a beautiful, beautiful palette. And like I said, I feel like while this may not be the most, you know, eye-catching or the most different looking when you look at all of the new quads, I do feel like this one's gonna surprise you. So if you're interested in watching me do a demo on this eye look, then just stay tuned. So I'm gonna start with this uh, light satin shade and I'm gonna put that all over my lid and we'll start there. I'm using my Tom Ford number 13 blending brush and I'm just sweeping that all over and I'm just remembering that I wanted to put eye primer down on one eye just to see if it made any difference. With the African Violet quad, we saw that it didn't really make that much of a difference, but I thought, you know, we'd kind of keep doing the same experiment just to see. So let me just apply some of this NARS tinted smudge proof uh, eyeshadow base here. All right, now we can continue. Uh, so I was placing this uh, beautiful satin shade down on my lid. So, so pretty. I'm just gonna keep piling this onto my lid here all over. All right, we have that all over the lid. I am gonna go into this deeper shade here and uh, just sort of deepen the outer corner of my eye out, bring that into the socket line. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna use my uh, Sonia G Worker One brush and just place that, the outer corner, add a little dimension there. Ooh, that's nice. Got a little smoky effect there. So now I'm gonna take my Isom W21 brush and go into this satin lilac shade. And I'm gonna place this uh, right along the edge here. I'm wondering if that'll help the transition a little bit. The colors blended nicely, but I think adding a little bit of lilac there will be very pretty. I'm gonna take my blending brush and just kind of blend all of this out a little bit. So it looks more like a gradient. So the lilac sitting on top of both of those shades ends up being pretty subtle, but I think it does a really nice job transitioning between the brown and that um, like pinky taupey color here. I think what I'm gonna do also is take some of this lilac. I wonder how pigmented I can get this and I wanna line my lower lash line with this. Oh, I like that. All right, so those are the three shadows that I have here in this palette on my eyes and I uh, just wanted to kind of point this eye look out before we go in with the topper shade and this is a great duochrome I think you can see it in the camera it kind of goes from purple to blue to pink it's really fun so I'm just going to use my finger I'm going to go in and tap some right onto the center of my lid and towards the inner corner Now I've got a pretty cool like duochrome effect there on my eyelid. Fun. I am gonna try and put a little bit of that color into my uh, inner corner there because it's so cool. So there's the eyeshadow applied. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my look and I will be right back. So here is my final look. I will link to everything that I have on my face down below in the description box as I normally do. Uh, so just to wrap up this video, I really enjoy this palette. This is another hit from Tom Ford. The quality is there. The formula is very consistent with his other shadows. You've got three very beautiful satin colors in here and that one really fun like top coat. So. 
I really enjoy this palette. I think a lot of people looked at this and thought it was going to be like the safe and the most boring one. So I feel like this quad is a bit of a sneaky one. The others I think are uh, like the African Violet and the Photosynthesex that I'm going to uh, probably, yeah, I'll probably review that one next. That's the one with the greens in it. Those two are like the most obviously very different uh, and the most, you know, bright and the loudest uh, quads that he has come out with. This one though, I feel like is sneaky. It's a little bit more complex than it looks upon first glance. So anyway, I think if you're looking for like a cool toned palette and maybe your comfort zone or your wheelhouse is really like warm tones, but you just kind of want to like dip your toe in the cool palette pool, I would give this one a shot. There's so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please let me know if you have any questions about this quad down below in the comment section and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll I'll see you in my next video.